What is up, nerds? This is Crash here with another Team Fortress 2 mapping update. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this series, it's basically me talking about what I'm working on lately mapping-wise, uh, what I've done with the channel, basically what I'm up to lately. So let's start off with what I've been doing the past couple weeks. If you haven't seen it, the upload that I did, I was on the TF Tools charity stream for Child's Play recently. They had a little mapper interview, and I got to participate in the uh, uh, TF2 Celebrity Highlander event, which was a lot of fun. Uh, there, there was some uh, kinks in the uh, plans, uh, but, it, you know, it, it turned out good. Uh, I was glad they raised, like, $1,300. And about a week or so ago, they had me on the Between Two Forts uh, interview thing, <laughs> the series that they do. Uh, and basically, we, we hopped on Two Fort. It hurt a lot to play on it, because I don't really play that map that often. It's very outdated. We hopped on Two Fort, and uh, they asked me a bunch of questions, and I wrecked some face while I was doing it. And there was some awkward stuff, and it was fun, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so, if you want to watch that, in the description below, I'll have that. Uh, as for mapping, uh, I've been working on Glassworks a whole buttload. Uh, as you can see, I have put a lot of work into it. I'm really proud of this building so far. Uh, all the lighting right now isn't final. I'm going to have to do some major tweaking here soon, I think. Uh, everything's a little too bright. But yeah, this brick building's really nice. It's got a little wispy smoke trail. It's my favorite. And then I've also been working around second on both sides. I've been doing these little out-of-bounds areas. All those weird shadows and stuff won't be there in the final uh, compile of it. This was, this was just sort of a uh, quick, quick and dirty version to get it out there and check it out. More wispy smoke in the distance there. I was trying to give it a feel of like a loading dock. This, this, is, the, this is shipping and receiving here. I think, I think there's even a sign <laughs> stating something similar to that. Uh, but yeah, so there's there's loading docks over here. Nice little hillside with, with some pretty trees. A little track system for whatever. Uh, and I, st I actually have been changing some textures around. Uh, I still have to do some maneuvering here with, with some of these displacements. That's not quite how it's supposed to be, obviously, with a sharp cut there. But I, I've changed some textures uh, as recommended by Ali, who I've mentioned a few times, uh, maker of Keikoku and... Swedish and uh, and the uh, Japan content pack. She did a ton of stuff on there, but I had her look at some of my detailing, and she she suggested uh, texture change on the rocks. And holy crap, does it make an improvement over what it was before? Um, up next, I think I'm going to be redoing this this area because it doesn't really make sense this little patch of cliff here anymore, tucked in between a building. So it's probably going to have to get rid of all this neat detailing I did a while ago. But you know that happens. It it sucks. It's hard to make those hard calls, but. Sometimes you just got to do it, get rid of some hours of work for something that's going to work better. And it'll probably be better overall anyway, because I'll, I'll get to optimize things better. Uh, let me take you over to Blue Side here. Blue Side definitely needs some loving on this building. I, I, went, I went nuts on red because I like working with bricks and wood and all these textures. But I'm not, I'm not too good with these cobble, or not cobblestone, what is that? Uh, cement blocks, cinder blocks, that's what I was trying to say. I'm not too good with the cinder blocks, so I'm, I'm still learning that stuff. Uh, Blue Side's got a little more epic of a scene, though, I think. It's got these nice cliffs in the distance and the, the water tower. I love the fog effects, how, how it looks. When you're, like, over here, everything looks nice and far away. But, yeah, I'm really proud of this, though. It's, it's finally becoming a, a proper map. So, you know, it's making me happy. Like I said on the other side, too, I'm going to have to get rid of this. It doesn't make any sense. Little, it makes a little more sense on this one because you can. It's kind of connected to that, but I uh, gotta be consistent, I guess. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what else I did between versions. It's been a while since I've updated this map, quite a while. In fact, I still haven't done any uh, releases since the three-hour test. So hopefully soon I'll have that. Maybe in a week or two. Ooh, that building's looking uh, looking pretty rough from over here. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of popping, popping in and out things right now. I got to deal with. It's a kind of an optimization nightmare I gave myself, but that's what happens when you try to make fancy buildings. I gotta say too, it's really not as fun <laughs> mapping without a team. Like when I did Stony Ridge, I was a detailer and clipper, and I, I did a lot of odds and ends work, and it was fun to do that. But when I got burnt out, I could just stop and go work on something stupid like train saw laser or another project of mine. But I don't have that now. If if I don't if I don't do work on this, it's not getting done, and that. That sucks. 
Uh, so that's my wine for, for now. I've honestly been procrastinating my other maps a little bit. Uh, probed what I released for the 72-hour version. I really need to sit down and work on because it's also going to get submitted to the uh, Man vs. Alien, I think it's called. <laughs> I should know that. Uh, the Man vs. Alien contest. Um, I'm going to take that and clean it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, I detailed inside these buildings, too. I thought it looked neat. This side, not so much, but uh, the forward spawn over here. I'm remembering things. I still haven't done touched the lighting yet, but there's a cow. But yeah, I think this this room looks nice for how simple it is. It's mostly just a pile of props, but it works. And yeah, the lighting it definitely needs some adjustments. I'm not sure. This brick looks really weird. I don't know. I might have to try another brick texture. It looks weird in the uh, map itself. But it could be just lighting issues. Anyway, uh, channel-wise, because now that I've talked about my maps, what I've basically been doing, um, I do plan on doing part two of my, uh, my uh, clipping tutorial which is going to be probably about how to find exploits in your map to clip. Um, so that, sh that should be interesting for both mappers and players because that'll be uh, how to break maps, essentially. <laughs> to, to only use for good, you know, of course. You don't want to abuse the, the knowledge that I'm going to bestow upon you. <laughs> so anyway, this is Glassworks. That's what I've been up to lately. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.